Hi love, this is Jane. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? I feel it's been a long time. I didn't do a shopping haul series on my channel and you guys know I shop a lot. There are lots of new clothes and shoes everywhere in my house. So today I decided to start with my winter shoe purchase. I know I'm running a little late this season, but Dallas actually just getting cold. So without further ado, let's get started. Stuart Wiseman is my go-to brand when I'm shopping for boots. As you know, platform shoes are trending, so when I saw this, I knew I have to have them. The thicker sole is actually super lightweight and the stretch leather helps them to stay up. Wear them with jeans or go bare, perfect either way. They have great color options, including bubblegum pink, and both the blue and white are 50% off. If you like the classic black color, Moss Sense has great deals now. I got this pair of Christian Dior boots at 40% off. It's hard to find such a cute pair of patent leather boots, but these are perfect. Compared to the Stuart Wisman boots, the leather on this pair is a little more stiff, but it's still stretch leather and pretty comfortable. Personally speaking, most of Dior shoes are quite practical because they usually have a wider sole in the front. These fit me perfectly and are very easy to walk in. If you can get them on sale, don't miss out. I also got 40% off of the Celine pair. Although the price after sale is still a little bit high, you can really feel how high quality the shoes are, so to me, they are worth it. The camel collar with Sherilyn is very classic and easy to pair with my winter wardrobe. They are a little difficult to put on because there are no zippers and the leather doesn't stretch, probably better for skinny legs. Most Celine boots are made with hardwood sole that makes it harder to walk in, but these have a rubber sole attached, so they are more comfortable. It was love at first sight with these boots. The design is unreal. You actually unzip and remove the shell to turn them into leather ankle boots. Basically, you are getting two pairs of boots for the price of one. These are very lightweight and easy to walk in. Well, the important thing to note is that you can't just step into the tall boots. You have to put on the short boots first and then zip up the outer shell separately, so I wouldn't wear them if I was running late. When thinking about kitten boots, Isabel Moran is the first play that comes to my mind. It's season, they come out with many unique patterns and different height options. Last year, I started collecting animal print pieces. For shoes, the black and white zebra print is easier to wear than other animal prints. The key is to start with small accessories first instead of a whole animal print outfit. The upper of the boots is made of soft calf hair, and the kitten heel is super easy to walk in. To be honest, I'm still trying to figure out why I spent $1,300 on vintage boots and why I wanted them so badly. I pre-ordered them from the Love Shake Fancy Boutique, and originally I wanted a white pair. After waiting for six months, they sent me a picture of a very old and dirty pair of refurbished boots that were completely different from the pair I pre-ordered. I ended up choosing this brown pair because I really like the artist's hand painting. The boots are from 1983 and aren't really comfortable, so they're more like a decoration at home now. If you have any recommendations for cowboy boots, please leave a comment down below. Oh my god, I can't believe this is my very first pair of weedy boots and I already want to buy every color of the style. The moment I put them on, I was completely shocked by how comfortable the arch, the front, and the heels were. It's like I've worn them for years. The upper leather is very soft but also very supportive. The zipper is super smooth. What a perfect pair! When I try to wear them with jeans, the ankle seems a little tight and I have to leave the zip open a little, but they still look good and elongate your legs. Highly recommend these boots. I bought this pair of the row boots at full price a while back. You might find a better price on Mossens nowadays. I have a similar pair of boots from R13 and in comparison, I would say these have a more chic, minimal design. At the same time, they are heavier than the R13 boots because of the weight of the rubber. The front zipper design makes it easy to break in the shoes compared to the lace-up design. However, the zipper on the row boots uses a piece of leather strain, and I worry about it might break over time. Price-wise, the row boots are about $400 more than the R13. Stuart Wisman also has a similar style. You can find them on my Mossens list under the description box below. 
Okay, this is a new season piece from Dior 2022. It's actually a funny story. I bought them while waiting to check out. I couldn't resist trying them on after I found them. I have a pair of leopard print fuzzy socks, but these shoes are like the real deal. They are so warm and comfortable. I was so surprised by how soft the upper and the sole were. I can literally wear them all day long. Super cute. If you like animal print and high top sneakers, this is the elevated version of Converse. This pair of lace-up boots is the hottest and newest piece from Celine's Print Summer 22. Compared to the pot pen style in their shoe collection, the design is more chic with a trendy platform sole. The upper part is canvas, which helps to make the shoes very light and breathable. The black color is good to wear year-round, but these are especially good for warmer weather compared to all the other boots I showed you today. Since the canvas is very light, the weight of the sole pulls down on the shoes when you walk and doesn't hold them in place very well. I recommend thicker socks for long wear. All right, love, this is the words to the end of today's video. Please let me know which pair of the shoes is your favorite one. If you enjoy watching, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys and see you next time.